Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am continuing on opening up my seven days of spring box from Tea Thoughts. Today we are on day three. Without my usual rambling, let's just go ahead and dive right in today. So here we are with day three. <laughs> I am so bad at opening these. Okay. And we have some Sakura tea. And this comes from Yunomi. I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and read this. Sakura flowers. These are great for brewing up a caffeine-free cup. I've created a fun way to use the brew in a recipe. And um, it says, interested in a recipe? Head over to teethoughts.com slash cherry blossom rice. And I'll go ahead and link this in the description box below so that you can also check out the recipe. This is interesting. So I think I would have expected this to have been sweet, but this is salty and it's chap it's Japanese cherry blossom tea preserved in salt and plum vinegar. This, here's a cluster I think of of some some cherry blossoms. This is how they came preserved. Uh, I, it looks like it's sugar, but it's not. It's salt, so I don't want to lick my fingers, but just these really beautiful, delicate flowers. And the smell is amazing. Like, I want to know during Sukuda season, during the Hanami, if this is what Japan smells like. Like, this is just, like, is intoxicating the right word? So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a couple things, and it's gonna sound weird, but trust me, it just smells amazing. Uh, so immediately, the first thing that actually comes to mind is sweet pickle relish. Uh, also, I'm thinking like dried red cherries. So let's go ahead and taste it. Um, I will plug in a picture here because you can't see what's inside this cup, but how could I not drink my Sakura tea in my new Sakura tea cup? So, so how I steeped this was um, I placed one bud in a cup and then I poured over top of that uh, 200 degree water. It doesn't say what to steep this at, so I just set it to the herbal setting. And then, so I did just like a flash steep of one blossom to kind of rinse it of the salt that it's preserved in. And then I, I uh, dumped that into just like a measuring cup to hold it for a second. And then I poured over water. And then um, it, this has been steeping, well, at least 15 minutes now. <laughs> and then uh, at some point, <laughs> Prior to me sitting down and filming this video, I did mix in, I did sort of like mix uh, the the um, salty salty water back into into this, and just really it's to taste. I think I just did like four or five spoonfuls. So so delicate, so delicate. Um, to me, just just lightly floral, like barely floral. And then I still say one of those big dried sweet cherries, but it's like, it's like a whisper, like just seriously, it is a whisper of floral and a whisper of cherry. Also, since I added in back the salt water, there is a little bit of saltiness to this, which I guess as I, I don't really know too much about uh, Sakura tea, but I read that in Japan it is uh, consumed salty so I don't really know why maybe that's just how they have it preserved I feel like to a lot of American taste a lot of the Western taste the saltiness is kind of strange I mean it's not off-putting it's just different it's just definitely not uh, how we in the West take our tea <laughs> we're much more into sugar um, so this is just really interesting and I'm really surprised like how this smells this smells like really strong and beautiful but the flavor of this is so delicate overall 
I mean, the aesthetic of this tea is so beautiful. I mean, to sit here and just drink with this beautiful cherry blossom in here is so delightful. Like we have cherry, we have cherry trees here in Michigan. Uh, they're about four hours north from where I live. And one of these days, I would really love to go see uh, the cherries, the cherry, the cherry trees blossoming. But I don't think that I, I obviously don't think that it is like at all comparable to what the cherry trees blossoming in Japan are like. Like that is sort of one of my bucket list, um, one of my just something on my bucket list. I mean, just going to Japan in general is on my bucket list. But to be there during the hanami, uh, during the cherry blossom viewing, that would be just such a dream come true. But until that day happens, I at least got to try Sakura tea. And so this has been pretty fun. Have you tried Sakura tea before? Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Or if you haven't tried Sakura tea, have you gone to like a cherry blossom festival and seen those beautiful, delicate pink blossoms? Uh, let me know if you have, what you thought of it. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you guys again soon for day four of my seven days of spring box from Tea Thoughts. All right, bye.